Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming. The title of my presentation is Humboldt Research. As you know, the Humboldt has been an Olympic sport since 1972 in male and 1976 in female. The Humboldt performance is influenced by several factors, individual and team factor. The individual factor are coordination, basic and specific, strength, basic and specific, and constitution, anthropometry, genetic, therapy disease. Inside the team factor are cognition, attention, decision making, among others, social factors, for example, coach team leadership, and tactics, offense, defense, by two one. And between individual, individual and team factor, there are external influence, like material or environment condition. Also, the handball is a complex sport where the players are to be able to throw, pass, jump, hit, block, push, run, a dribble. So it's a complex sport with different options. But the handball research is very limited. Between 2060 and 2012, only 333 papers have been published in journals with impact factor. But since 2010, the number of articles has increased. The main topic about this paper is injuries, around 26% of the total of paper published, physical capacities and condition, around 80%, physiological variables measurement, around 13%, and performance and success variable, around 6%. As you know, probably better than me, in Iceland, the handball is the fourth large number of sport participants, around 8,500 participants. The best score of the national team in Maine was the silver medal in 2008 in the Olympic Games and the fourth place in 1992, and the bronze medal in the European Championship in 2010. In women, the best score was the 12th place in 2012 in the World Championship. About the Ranking, in this moment the men is the 12th place in the world, in women is the 33rd uh, place. Now I will show you three research lines that in this moment the RU is developing very uh, uh, fast. The objective of the first research line is to analyze the physical, technical and psychological characteristics in the Icelandic national team, 18 and youth team. The second objective of the second research line is to analyze the evolution across ages, the physical, technical, and psychological characteristic of Icelandic club. And the third objective of the third research line is to identify the characteristic handball game related statistics that discriminate the performance on handball, winning and losing team in international championships. We have evaluated the Icelandic national team, 18, under 21, 19, 17, and 15, with different tests. Height and weight, and body mass index, hand grip, the velocity was evaluated with 10 meters and 30 meters running, the power was evaluated with medicine ball throwing and counter moves jump, yo yo test with uh, endurance with yo yo test, sorry, and the throw velocity signs 7 meters and 9 meters after 3 steps and jump. Also, we have used different psychological questionnaires to evaluate the psychological skill, like self-regulation and performance skills, cognitive and somatic anxiety and self-confidence, dispositional orientation, <coughs> mental toughness, and tax and ego involved climate. Some uh, first and published results. In this uh, study, we, guys, we always evaluate 18, under 19, 17, and 15 in female. With, and we will do, we will have done one one way ANOVA with Bonferroni Postec. And of course, the 18 achieved the best score in each in each variable, but mainly in weight, counter movement jump, yo yo test, and medicine ball. But it's a little bit surprised, there are a very few and very small difference between under 19, under 17, and under 15, only in three variables body max index, counter movement jump, and medicine ball. Also, 
we have done one discriminant analysis to know what is the predictive variable to performance in handball, understanding uh, performance between a starting player and non-starting player, the seven best player in the beginning and the second. And there are no difference between under 15 and un under 70 between starting and non-starting, but there was difference between under 19 with two variables, seven meeting throwing velocity and hand grip, and the 18 only weight and body mass index. All this study is only in female. The second study we was evaluate one club in Iceland, Hawkeye, with the same testing of the national team plus R and span and X and Y hang, flexibility with sit and reach and shoulder test, strength power, strength endurance, sorry, push ups and sit ups in 30 seconds, agility with T test and pass skill with pass to wall. In this case, I show you the difference between male and female, and you can see like and in 14 and under, there are a lot of variables without difference between male and female, but after the poverty, a few number of variables has no difference. It's for me a little bit strange or surprise, no difference between under 18 and 15 in yo-yo test between male and female in this club. And the final, the third, the third uh, research line, we have analyzed the game related statistics of the game played in the last four Olympics game between 2004 and 2016. We have evaluated shots, six meter, seven meter, nine meter, wing, fast break and base shots, yellow and red cards, two minutes exclusion, assist, technical foul and steals. And the same variables in relation with the shot in goalkeeper. Goalkeeper shots, goalkeeper block shot, goalkeeper block shot, six meters, seven meters, nine meters, wing shot, fast break shot and brace shot. This result we are achieved directly for the result handbook of the official handbook in each Olympic game. We have done two discriminant analysis to know what is the predictive variable between winning and losing team in Olympic uh, games. In this moment, these two uh, manuscripts is under review in two journals with impact factor. In male, the variables predictive of the performance, understand performance, winning and losing team, is shot, goalkeeper shot, obviously, but more interesting is technical fall and attacks in men. But in female, it's the same three variables, like men, shot, goalkeeper shot, and technical falls, okay? But also still a goalkeeper blocked in fast break shot. So maybe in this, in the Olympic game, the role of the goalkeeper is more relevant in men, in women, in comparison with men. Of course, this is not only my job. There are one team working in these three research lines. From RU, there are different staff, Hafrun, Ingi, Christian, and Sisi, Margaret, Milan, and Sweeney, and three master students involved in this project, Arnab, Dean, and Matthias. Of course, the, a, the national coach from Maine Geir and for female Axel and two uh, coaches from Hawkeye, Hakon and Olafur. Thank you for your attention and remember, kill the car and play handball, but not only like a sport, you can do also handball like physical activity, but the more relevance for us is to do research in handball. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>